All right, for exterior angles in convex polygons, our example A question asks us what the angle Y is here in this uh, kind of oddly shaped five-sided figure. And all we need to do to figure that out is to remember that for any convex polygon, the sum of all the exterior angles is always 360 degrees. So that means that if we have all the rest of these angles here, we have uh, just for ease of calculation in our head, we'll put 60 and 40 together gives us 100. And then 100 plus 70 gives us 170. And 170 plus 65 would be 235 degrees. So we have 235 degrees plus y degrees equals 360 degrees. So we just need to solve for y. We'll subtract 230 from both sides minus 230, sorry, 235. That gives us y equals uh, 125 degrees. So angle y over here must be 125 degrees so that the total of all those exterior angles can be the 360 they're supposed to be. All right, let's take a look at example B. Example B says, what is the measure of each exterior angle of a regular heptagon? A uh, heptagon is a seven-sided figure, and if it's regular, then we know that all of the angles on the interior and the exterior are the same. So if we have our regular seven-sided figure, we know that all those angles total 360 degrees, so we just need to divide 360 by 7, which should give us something like oh, about 51 and a half, 51.2 four maybe, something like that. So we'll say approximately equal to. So 360 divided by 7, about 51.4 degrees. So each exterior angle would be 51.4 degrees. And finally, let's take a look at example C. Example C asks us, what is the sum of the exterior angles in a regular 15 gun? Well, this one sounds like it might be a little difficult because it's got a 15-sided figure, but all we have to know here is that we're looking for the sum of the exterior angles, and our rule tells us that the sum of the exterior angles is always 360 degrees. So that's actually the easiest question of the bunch. I don't have to do any calculations at all. All done.